Do you know the kind of things they do to you ten times a day when you do a bit in Colombia? Do you? The warden there was Joe Regan. Meatball Joe. And if that slob was a panologist, I'm a jet airplane pilot. I've done 11 years. I got out, what, four years ago? I went in there because I stole $40. I started off as a two-year bit. For all in six months, straight away I got into this problem with these two other guys. They tried to tone me out. Picked up another nine on the manslaughter beef. Some other things. I was 20 when I went in, 31 when I got out. But you don't count months and years. You don't do time that way. Forget time. You gotta not give a fuck whether you live or whether you die. You gotta get to where nothing means nothing. I'll tell you a story all about it. Once there was this Captain Morphus. 300 pound slob couldn't even write his own name. And he had this crew of 16 or 17 prison guards and cons. Prison groups. Crews. They take the young guys out of the cells and bring them up to hydrotherapy in the mental ward. Gang bang. Guy puts up a fight, they beat him and he ends up in a funny farm. So anyway, war gets down the line next. And I don't know what to do. I'm scared. 11.30, 12 o'clock, lights come on. I had this pipe I got from plumbing. And the force scared. <laughs> I hit him in the shins. And then I go through a convict and another convict. And anyway, I get the marvels and I crack him across the head twice. Bang. And then they all get on top of me. And they do a lot of things. I was in the hospital wing for six months. But Morphus is also fucked up real good. Cerebral hematoma. Oh, they pension him off. He can't even walk straight and he dies two years later. And that's a big loss to the planet Earth. In the meantime, I have to go back out into the mainstream population. And I know, the minute I hit that yard, I'm a dead man. I hit the yard. And do you know what happens? Nothing. Nothing happens. Because I mean nothing to myself. I don't give a fuck about me. I don't give a fuck about anything. And I know from that day on that I survive. Because I achieved that mental attitude.